Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of, the, of Camel, and he cast himself down upon the head, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he guarded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. It's testimony time. It is testimony time. Oh, ah, hallelujah. Um, in the open heavens of today, our Father and the Lord said something that one of the conditions for complete restoration is when we testify. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Testimonies give glory to God. When we give testimony, we give glory to God and we encourage the brethren. So in the light of this, how many testifiers we have in the house this morning? Hallelujah. Please come, sir. Hallelujah. Please, you have just two minutes. Tell us your name and what the Lord has done. Thank you for strength. Any other? Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He's a man of God, though. Samuel Jeremiah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. That testimony. Let's come. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Any other testimony? Jesus. I 
me and I came back to myself. Uh, secondly, I want to thank God, people of glory, for my work life. Ever since I left this year, it's been from one level of glory to another. Um, it wasn't easy for me, but I had to, according to God's instruction, I left the company and I started my own. And this year will be five years now, and it's been awesome. It has been awesome. It's been wonderful. One blessed to be in the world. Mm, thank you, Lord Jesus. Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, let all the people that gave testimony please rise. Church, let's just appreciate God. Let all the testifiers please rise to their feet. Let's appreciate this God. Our God is good. He's awesome. He's wonderful. He's always good to us. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him, brethren. Let's give him glory. Let's return all the glory to him. There is no te small testimony here, brethren. Let's just appreciate this God. Our God is good. Our God is always good. Awesome God will worship you. Awesome God will give you praise. Awesome God, there is no God like you. Thank you, Father, for all these wonderful testimonies, oh God. Lord, we can never repay for what you have done, Father. But this day we say thank you. Father, thank you. As we thank you, Father, you will do more in our lives. You will do more, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we cover all these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Father, your people shall reap more testimonies, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think everywhere is cold somehow. Somebody shout hallelujah! If you know the Lord is good to you, as in if you know that the Lord is good to you personally, you know, being alive today, the Lord is good. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, if you know that the Lord is good to you, you're going to shout that hallelujah as soon as you believe it. Are you ready to go? Just one hallelujah. Let someone shout hallelujah! The Lord is good in all the time. The Lord is good in all the time. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. You know, going further, the Bible says that for we call it those things that are not as though they were. Things happen through the name of the Lord. Miracles happen through the name of the Lord. That is why the choir in the morning, in this morning, as today is arcing unto me service, we, combining with the church, we want to call upon the name of the Lord together. And the Lord will hearken unto us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we proclaim. Hallelujah. And your, and your 
awesome majesty. Somebody help me to say, Lord, come upon us now and release your power and let your presence fall. Let it fall, Jesus. We're going to sing it one more time. We're going to sing it one more time. Can I get a witness in the house? Everybody help me to say, Lord, we proclaim you now in your mighty hand and your awesome majesty. Say, Lord, come upon us now today and release your power. And let your presence fall. Let it fall. We say, Lord, Lord, we say, Hey, release. And let your presence fall. How many believe that the presence of the Lord is here this morning? If you believe that the presence of the Lord is here this morning, wave your hands to Jesus this morning. We are going to call that name of the Lord. Everybody say, Holy Jesus, oh Lord, hey, oh Lord, oh Lord, Lady of the Valley, oh Lord, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we call upon your name today. We want to see that get up on us. Release. And let your presence flow. And let your presence. Let it fall. And let your presence. Let it fall this morning, Jesus. We say the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and those that run into it, they are saved. Say the presence of the Lord in our life does wonders. Somebody say, Let it fall. Can somebody just wave your hands to Jesus and expect his presence to fall in your life this morning? Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. My dear, let it fall, yeah. Let it fall, hey, 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 let it fall. Let it fall. Hack it us to us this morning, Jesus. Let your presence fall, yeah. Let it fall, sir. Let it fall, sir. Oh, Lord. Oh, happen in the name of Jesus eh? And let your presence release one more time and let we pray today let your presence fall into our lives let there be miracles in our lives 
Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be testimonies. Let there be powers in our life this morning. Let the fall. Release. Release. And let it fall. Presence fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we stand and stretch forth our hand to the choir, the voices from heaven, that the Almighty God, that the anointing of God upon their life will never long dry. Shall we begin to pray for them? Stretch forth your hand and pray for them that it shall be well with them, that the presence of God will continue to be in their life, that the Almighty God will stretch forth his hand upon them, that it shall be well with them. My Father, my God, through this one, O Lord Jesus, the anointing of God will flow. La po shakara broko sika braka lekaba zale ka mondo ro broko shandaraba Father touch them one by one O Lord Rako sandara bra shakara broko lekaba zale ka mandara broko shikaba zakara broko shikaba Thank you my Father In Jesus precious name we pray In Jesus precious name we pray O God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah, you're a man of war. His mercy, his mercy endure it forever and ever. Oh, praise his holy name. Forever, forever and ever, oh praise His holy name, the God of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, you're the man of war. we thank you because you're a good God we give you all glory all adoration all majesty daddy your children have gathered this Sunday morning Lord to thank you to worship you for every good and glorious thing you have done in our life father today is hacking unto me oh Lord but I ask you Lord this morning let heaven be open for all our prayers this morning in the name of Jesus Father, let every prayer today that we will say here today be answered in the name of Jesus. Father, send your fire in our midst this morning in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I ask so, Lord Jesus, that everyone under the sound of my voice, any situation, any problem, oh Lord, that we came here with today, Father, we will never go back with it in the name of Jesus. Father, from this altar, oh Lord, let there be fear of God in the name of Jesus. Let your word come forth this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, open, your, open our hearts this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Today is uh, hacking unto me. We are here this morning to pray. But I just want to learn something with every one of us. The secret of answered prayer. I just want you to take it down. Because I found out these days that so many complain that God 
it's not a lot of people are complaining that they have been praying and it's like answers are not forthcoming but it, I don't think it's the truth the truth is that we are just praying you know one man of God said something he said if you don't have the word of God in your mouth what you keep on saying is that I cast you, I cast you, I cast you out and one day you will learn out of I cast you and I cast you and you found out that nothing is happening but when you are when you are living your life with the word of God when you are praying with the word of God you found out that God will answer you easily we took our test from 1st King 18 36 to 46 you know without the word of God every prayer ends in frustration that's one thing I want you to know when you are not praying according to the word of God, you continue to pray amiss according to the word of God. In fact, it is nothing but a waste of religious exercise. When you are praying, you don't have a word to back your prayer. You don't have anything you can tell God. You don't put God in remembrance. The word of God said in 1 John 5, 14, He said, and this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he say you he will hear us. When you ask according to the will of God, when you search, you know, this morning, because I don't want us to waste time, but I just want to give you the basic things that you need to know. When you have a problem and you decide for God to come to your head, for God to answer you, what you just need is the word of God. You go, you go in search of the word. Every particular issue you have, have a solution in the word of God. And what you just need is to get, hit that word. Immediately you hit the word, you found out that the solution to that problem will come. I have one testimony that I will share to you before we go on. This testimony is my own testimony, my own life. I know a lot of, a lot of people have had it here. I was sick. Sick that I lost hope myself. You know, when you are sick and you just feel that definitely you will die. I don't have a will, but I called my uncle and started making the will because the doctors, they didn't give any hope. The last doctor told me that, the, the other one said 50-50. The other one now said that he doesn't know. He said, I'm sorry, our machine could not get to your heart. That was his word. And the only solution is that they're going to put me on a pacemaker. I've never heard that word before. I said, what is pacemaker? You know, the, the first thing that the man said, even if you have it when you are traveling, then when you get to the airport, you let them know because machine will not touch machine because you will live on machine. That was the word. And when I was in the hotel room, because it, I, I travel out, he said, they, they, they told me that somebody have to sign. The person that went with me was afraid. He said, I am not going to sign because for him, he feel that I'm not going to make it. So I was waiting for my wife to come. And something happened. And that's where I'm going. I said, I know that Job was sick. And I know that Job suffered terrible things in life. But I know that Job came out of that problem. How? Let me search. I opened my Bible. I begin to search. I let Job 1, I finish Job 2, I finish Job 3, I finish Job 4, I finish Job 5. When I go to Job 5 to 6, Bible said that you will not go to your grave in your younger age. You will only go in your full age. That was the word I need. I caught that revelation and I hold on to it. I said in that room, I am healed. Light showed up. And that was it. Brethren, what is that problem that you're going through? That you feel you have been praying. You are praying amiss. You don't have a word to back it up. That is the problem. If you have a revelation in a word and you hold, it, hold on to it, every day you keep on reminding God. So this morning, I just want to learn three things about what you need to know about prayer so that we will pray. Because if you don't have a word, you will be wasting time. 
and I don't want you to continue to waste that time, and I don't want you to continue to say something that, you know, each time I hear, I, in my heart breathes. You keep on saying, I've been praying without an answer. Ask that person, which word are you holding on to? No word. The, 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 you know, the day I learned about this, I shouted because I saw something in one book that I read where a man of, where, where a doctor in America, when tuberculosis came out newly, he was killing people everywhere, no drug for it. And the doctors called everyone that has the, 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 the disease, put them down and begin to heal them with the word of God. He was healing them with Deuteronomy 261. He said, according to Deuteronomy 261, this sickness called tuberculosis is the cause of the law. But according to Galatians 313, Christ has redeemed me from every cause of the law. Therefore, I command you tuberculosis out in the name of Jesus. He healed up to 1,000 people with this word. So, what tell me the problem that this God cannot solve when you have a word? When you have a word, the problem is that you don't have a word. Most of us does not even open our Bible any longer. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And the Lord will help me to deliver this message because I didn't have time. In Jesus' name. The truth is, if you don't know how to approach God with his word, prayer will continue to be hit and long for you. That is the truth. You just pray and continue to pray in frustration. But when you walk with the word, you will see how things will become very easy. Let's look at the, the, the Bible that I will read this morning. You see, if you look at verse 36, just listen. He said, And it came to pass at the time of evening, at the time of offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, mark it, Isaac and Israel, let it be known this day that thy art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant. And that I have done all this at thy word. At thy word. So everything that Elijah have done that day is standing on the word of God. Remember that the, 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 the prophet of the bass had been praised this morning. Nothing happened. But when the man of God came and stood on the word of God and gave the promise and called the fire, the fire came. Because he stands on the word of God. So the question you need to ask this morning is, on what word am I standing to confront this problem? I told the prayer team, I said, God has answered every prayer that you are praying. The problem is that you are not holding on to any word. Remember Jesus Christ. That even when Satan came to tempt him, in Matthew 4 verse 4, Jesus said, it is leading. It is written. That is because he, he, Jesus himself, who you know that is our God, is everything to us. He said, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. I don't know about that, that problem that you feel that is challenging you. I don't know about that sickness that you feel that is challenging you. I don't know about that poverty. I don't know whatever that is. That thing is that the word of God cannot take away. It's just that you don't have any word. I, 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 I will continue to give testimony. You know, one day I was going out in the morning when we are in Christ Church. Uh, this, this our pastor here started this command the morning we are doing here. So she's the HOD of the command the morning. So that's when I know her. So I was going for command the morning in the morning. And immediately I was crossing the Ikoi, the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, open your Bible. Go to Job, go to Job 5.12. I said, I was in the car, so I opened the Bible. Job 5.12 said that he would disappoint the devices of the crafty and he will not allow their hand to perform their enterprise. I said, why do this word come? Then I went to church without knowing that the enemy have gang up. That's why you need the word. And because that word have came to me that morning, I held on to that word. And when I got to the meeting, 
that exactly what God said in his word happened. But then go and look for your own word for that problem. You will see that that problem will be over. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The first point I have here, because we are not meant to preach. I know pastor is looking at me. We are not meant to preach now. The first word, what happened here is that, the word I want you to put down is that in where we led, the man of God talk about stone. And I really want you to put it down. The Bible said that he gathered the stones. And that stone represents the word of God. And he stand on that word, and God answered him. Bible said, and Elijah took, and Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribe of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel, Israel is thy name. So he took that twelve word. You know, David Oedipo said something. He said that when the daughter was sick, that he went to God in prayer. And the man took, he said, God showed him four words. He said, he sent that word to the bed of this daughter. That was the end. So Elijah took 12 words and went to comfort the prophet of Ba. And immediately, God answered. And the stone here represents the word of God. Verse 32 said, and with the stone, he built an altar. You see? With the stone, that word, he built an altar of God. On, where, on what are you building? The solution to your problem is in the Bible. I am not just speaking because I know how to. No, I am telling you the truth. If you stand on any word, Pastor, I saw Pastor on Saturday, he told me something. He said that God established this church, that the name of the church is the cornerstone. And cornerstone is the word of God and is Jesus Christ. And the righteous knows. He knows that the word of God that it is Jesus, and he stood on that word, and he said, "Let the fire fell immediately." He didn't waste time. The second thing I want you to look at in that place is the wood. He said, and he put the wood in order. What he meant is that he put the word of God in order. You know, if you're a man that eat the word according to Jeremiah 15 verse 16 that said find the word and eat it if you're somebody that is eating the word if you're a man that walk with the word if you're a woman that walk with the word you will not have any problem because any little thing the word come up the word fired up in your, in your body and you speak it and when the word comes up everything that is not of God will bow this, this, this situation we bow because remember what God said he said at the mention of our name of our Lord Jesus Christ every name shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord so if you have the word there's no way you will not be free there's no way poverty will disturb you there's no way sickness will disturb you because you know what the word of God said he said in Matthew 8 17 that he took away our infirmity and he banned all sicknesses away from us so if you have a word you will continue to learn with the word you will see that life will be easy for you so in this place Bible said that Elijah put the woods in order. And this wood here represents the word of God. In Luke 23, 31, Bible said, Jesus said, For if they, if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry tree? He's talking about the word of God. Proverbs 26, verse 20. He said, Where no wood is, there the fire will go out. If there is wood, if there is word, when you pray, fire will fall. If you have the word, as you open your mouth, you will see that God will answer you. If you have the word, there is no way Satan will not be afraid of you. That's why when Satan came to tempt Jesus, the only thing Jesus was saying is, it is litten. It is litten. He stood on that word. So, the question I want to ask you this morning is, on what word are you standing to confront that problem? Are you just standing that you know how to pray and you continue to pray 
and you are not seeing any result because you don't have a world you are standing on because we you don't search because i strongly believe as a businessman which i am what we do is that every time we search we look for new business so now you have a problem and i'm telling you this morning that your solution is in the word of god no matter what this situation is if you stand on this word there's no way you will not have victory Number three point I have here is the water. He said, put the water. First King 18, 33 to 35. Elijah told the people, fill four barrels with water and pour it on the bronze sacrifice. He asked them to continue to put the water, the word of God, on it, everywhere. And the Bible says something here in Ephesians 5. 25 and 26. He said, Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water. Because Christ himself is the water. That's what he's saying here. Because when Elijah was praying, Elijah stood on the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, and he kept on giving those prophecies. And those prophecies came to pass because he stood on the on, on, on the word of God which is Jesus Christ. You know, every time something is happening in my life, what I always look at is what is the word of God saying concerning this situation? I will continue to search the word until I get a particular word for that situation. And when you have that word for that situation, there's no way you will not have victory. Anytime you have problem, you go to God in search of the a word. And when you get the word, you will stand on that word. You know, for me now, I can close my eyes. I'm not telling you for anything. I'm beginning to tell you words that I use when I'm in any situation that I didn't like. I, 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 I use Job 8-7. Though my beginning is small, yet my letter end shall be greatly increased. That is a word that I got by revelation. And when I say it, no matter the situation, that situation will give way. So, I am challenging everyone here. Go and look for your, word, for your own word. Because the word is in the Bible. John Austin, the wife was sick of cancer. And every man of God, because he's a man of God that is well known, every man of God went to pray for the woman. The doctor's nine gave a date when the woman died. And the woman was on the bed, no solution. And the woman said that one morning, the Spirit of God fired a word in her spirit. And immediately that word came. He began with the word. He began to mention it. He began to mention it. He began to mention it. Before you know it, the word of God jacked her up from the bed. You know why it might be not easy for some people? If you don't study, there's no way the Spirit of God will fire a word in your spirit. It's not that the word will just come. No. You need to begin to open your Bible. You need to begin to search. You need to begin to have your own word. And that is what I'm saying this, this morning. Have a word that you can call God on. You can say, Father this word is the word of God. Let it manifest in my life. The last thing I have here is the last point is fire. Because we all know the fire came down. And that fire is the word of God. You know, I don't know if anyone have read the book of Idaosa. Did I, I myself let that book something happen in my life? Idahosa encountered a word in Jeremiah 51 verse 20. He said that the Lord has made me a battle axe. Immediately that word came. The man went out like a madman in the street of Benin. He was asking them, do you have any dead body here? Is any, do you anybody have? He went to mortuary everywhere. He was waking the dead. 